Well, Dave, two big tests ahead of us in the coming days. Grimsby and Solihull, two teams in, both in really good form. It, it feels like a big week in the season, doesn't it? Probably from the outside looking in, it, it does in terms of the games that go ahead and in a shortish space of time. Um, as you say, two teams in, in good form, but ultimately as good or we're in as good if not better form so um, the games against the teams that are up near you in the, at the top of the table are always the ones that I suppose bring more intrigue um, but the games that we know are going to be tough I think this league has shown over not just the recent past but over the time um, it's been going that unless you're banged at it there can be results that you wouldn't expect so we've again simplified it as best as possible we've got to go and be at our best and if we're at our best then I believe we have every chance of winning and you've spoken before I think you mentioned it in your first interview with the club about the embarrassment of riches that you have at your disposal at County particularly after those three deadline day additions as well are these the kind of weeks where that strength in depth can make all the difference it gives us the option that's the, that's the big thing um, what we don't have as I've seen some teams is struggling to fill a bench is players missing out which significantly reduces the quality they have in the start of 11 um, that's what we don't have so let's say we have options what we have to do is pick the right options at the right time in order to get us the right results um, but you certainly have confidence in the fact that if things transpire on a Friday and we potentially lose players that that on the Monday if we need to change things if we need to mix it up if we need to do whatever's needed then it won't significantly reduce the quality that we have um, it is a quick turnaround not as quick a turnaround as Saturday Monday which would normally be the case over over Easter and what we have further down the line in, in the season um, so we'll use the squad or have the options to use the squad as best as we see fit just going back to, to last Saturday for a minute and rightly or wrongly the, there was the question <coughs> being asked externally in the build-up to the game about how County were going to respond to, to losing a game for the first time in a long time. But as has often been the case, your team came up with a, a pretty emphatic answer. Yeah, from our side of things, I think the there can be, I suppose, ways of potentially not winning football matches and losing football matches. I don't think the Wrexham defeat was damaging in any way, shape or form. I thought we, we got what we needed out of the game in certain aspects we didn't get the one thing we wanted, which was a win but i think we did more than enough to, to win the game and, and ultimately it was decided in the in injury time if, if you like um so f for us and for the players you, you could tell that that week the week leading into the south end game was a longish week in the fact that they wanted to get out there and, and ultimately answer any questions that people might have we we know where i say where we are we're a really driven really motivated group that want to get better um and you want to play in games that have meaning and games that count. So for the TV cameras to be there on, on Saturday, um, for us to be playing a game later than everybody else, for us to still be sat top of the top of the table, I was confident in what we were going to produce. Um, and they didn't disappoint, they didn't let us down. Let us down. Um, started the game with real intent. That first goal is always important in football matches. <clears throat> so to get it at the time we did and then back it up and get a second in quick succession was... Obviously, really pleasing. The game should have been done at half time. We spoke at half time about got ourselves to a winning position, but the game still needed to be won. I thought we did that really, really well um, and showed a ruthlessness and relentlessness about how we went about it um, and were worthy winners. I was speaking to uh, to Scott Quigley after the game. Always an interesting conversation with Quigs, and you could you could sense how desperate he is to, to get back amongst the goals. But to his credit, he's, he's not let his head drop as he's still finding ways to affect games in other ways. No, I've said it in my my, my program notes for, um, for for Monday. I had a conversation with with Quigs about goal scorers. Um, we're in a position where we've got goal threats from different areas of the pitch, uh, and there's not as big a reliance on him to score goals. What you have to do as a goal scorer, because you're never going to, unless you're very, very good, you're never going to score goals all the time. What you have to do as a goal scorer or a centre forward is be able to be reliable in other aspects of the game. So whether that's winning first contacts, whether that's your link-up play, whether that's your work off the ball, whether it's being the first line of defence, whether it's defending your own penalty area from set pieces, whatever that might be, as long as you do those things effectively, then you'll play a part in the, the club and, and the team getting results 
if you don't do that, that's then when then you have have a have a problem, um, and that's certainly not being the case. Everyone's desperate for him to for him to score. He still has the support, like I say, of, of all his teammates and all the staff, because we know what he brings. He needs a scruffy one. Um, to be fair, the one he has scored against Bromley was an absolute whopper from twenty five yards. Without being disrespectful, he, he needs one to go in. Uh, in the box from two yards or to keep make a save and him have an open goal. He needs that that type. And and once that happens he's proven that he can score goals. He just needs to get on that roll again and we're confident that that will happen and that will um then from his perspective, not ours, feel the justification of why he's in the team. There's a natural reaction or a natural thought process that if you're centre forward, you're gonna be judged on your goals. Yes you are, but you're gonna be judged on an awful lot more things as well. Elsewhere this week, you obviously had a, a bounce game on Monday against Carlisle, a 2 0 win. How helpful was it to to get that run out and get minutes into players' legs? Really important. Um, so we've we've some players, as we've said, that need need games. So for different different things, the lads we've brought in naturally, when you're not wanted at other clubs, you're not going to be playing a lot of football. So good to get 90 minutes into into Andy and into Zane, uh, Courtney. Needed, needed the minutes, so we've got 60 minutes into him with good data to go alongside it. And then Wits and, uh, Wits and Ryan, obviously 60 minutes into them, in their first dip back in from, from like say, medium-term injuries, if you like. So that'll put them closer. Um, we'll need to work with them over the, the, the coming weeks to get them to full match fitness, but really, really positive in the fact that we know if, if they're called on, maybe they can't do... 90 minutes to the levels that they could um, before their injuries, but they're certainly on the way back and every day we'll only get closer to that. It, obviously, great news about Ben and Ryan. It, it is, I suppose, thinking more about Ryan, who was, who's been such an important player since you've come in, is there the temptation there to, to throw him straight back in or does it have to be managed a bit more carefully than that? No, there's not, there's not a temptation at the moment because um, we're in a position where other players have been have been performing well in that position, be it Kitch when he's played there, be it Miles when he's played there. Miles has scored in his last two two league games. So we don't feel the need to throw him straight back in. We we wouldn't regardless feel the need to put someone at risk when there's there's, there's no no need to. Um if things change, like I say, we, we can take comfort in the fact that we know <coughs> he can or he is over 60 minutes, pretty close to um, where he was before pre-injury, if you like, in terms of physical physical output. The last half an hour of a game, as with anything, it's the toughest toughest part, and we just need to build build those minutes up. So we, we could throw him back in without without question, um, but we'll pick the right time for him, um, and that will be based on not just our desire to stick him in there, that will be based on performances, based on results, based on injuries, based on suspensions, all those things that culminate in the decision that we have to make. Just moving on to, to Friday and, and Grimsby, um, I suppose when you think back to that, that FA Trophy game back in December, it was a, a difficult moment for Grimsby on a bad run, a lot of injuries hit by Covid. Uh, they certainly seem to have turned it around since then and are going to be a different opposition on, on Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, again, start of the season, they'll, they would have been an um, we still are a team that feel they should be competing at the top to get promoted from this division. Had an unbelievable start and a really good start. We sat top of the top of the table. Have had a, a sticky run um, that culminated, like I say, them losing a, a stretch of games. Our FA Trophy game was in the in the, in the midst of that, um, but have I suppose reinforced, have strengthened, they've brought some players in, um, and I've got some results that have now put them um, back in that playoff picture and they'll be doing everything they can to want to want to stay in there. Um, so, yeah, different game than what the trophy game was. We've got a different game in terms of us, in terms of our team selection and stuff on that day. So, um, yeah, a completely different game, but one that we're looking forward to and one that we want to win. You've been involved in, in the National League for a few years now, obviously one promotion last year. Is this the strongest you've known the division to be in, in terms of quality of the opposition you're going up against? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to work that out. There's been um, there's been money spent on players that are above National League level. Simple as that. And, and, and you look at the moment, normally you will have I don't know, maybe, maybe seven, eight teams that are 
maybe push to nine teams that we're pushing for a playoff place. I think you're probably down to 11, 12, uh, who are still in with a still in with a shot. Um, and on the flip side of that, the teams that are down the bottom in the main are a sort of are a drift down down the bottom. So um, the quality, like I say, has only increased year on year, in, in my opinion. Within that, you always lose two teams to the Football League. Um, probably this time around, um, maybe the, the two teams that were lost from last time were ones that potentially had the had the strongest squads and I was in charge of one of the, one of those squads um and, and, and we got up when people probably thought we maybe maybe wouldn't um so there is real quality um there is real competition there is more and more ex football league clubs if you like not just in um in infrastructure but um in standard that are part of part of the makeup of this division which makes it more and more difficult just finally, I want to finish up on the fans this weekend. It, it can be a hostile atmosphere to play in at Blundell Park at times, but a, a sellout away crowd, around 1,500 county fans making their way down. How much of a, a boost does that give to you and the players in a game like this? Yeah, huge boost. Um, I think atmospheres are created by opposition fans. That's what makes the, I suppose, the banter, the, the dislike, the support in your team, wanting to be better support than the opposition, all those sorts of things, and then being able to bounce off each other makes makes for an atmosphere. We've got to make sure that we put in a performance that, um, that our supporters associate with, and I've no doubt we'll absolutely get behind us and go a long way to hopefully get us another three-point and keep this run going. Dave, thanks for your time. Good luck on Friday. Cheers, thank you.